Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today I want to show you how to install the 60 inch blade from Putco LED tail light bar on this full size pickup truck. Now this is an F-150, but the install is going to be the same on just about every truck. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, now before we do the installation, we're going to survey the situation, and make sure that we've got a good spot to install this bar. Uh, now, what we're looking for here, we've got a nice flat surface. If there were any kind of obstructions in the way, well, we'd use these standoffs and actually attach the light bar to the standoffs and then stick the standoffs to the surface. That way it clears any obstructions. We've got a nice flat surface. We're not going to use the standoffs. Another thing you want to make sure that you're putting it in a place that's visible uh, from cars coming behind you and that it's not going to block the operation of the tailgate. So we've got a nice spot down at the very bottom. Next, we're going to go ahead and take off the tailgate and install the light bar. Now this truck has a backup camera, so what I did is I went ahead and got underneath the truck, disconnected the harness from that backup camera. That way when we take off the tailgate, we just pull it right through the hole. Next I'm going to drop the tailgate, I'm going to hold it at a little bit of an angle, I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver, and that's how this comes off to do the same thing on the other side. Alright, so what you're going to notice is on the passenger side where the tailgate attached to the bed, you're going to have a tab and a slot. You want to raise the tailgate to where the tab lines up to the slot, then you can draw the tailgate out of that bracket. Now, I do recommend having a second set of hands uh, on the other side just to keep it nice and steady. You don't want to scratch anything. And as you pull it out, remember you've also got uh, a backup camera where the harness goes through. You want to gently pull that out as well. Then we're going to clean off the surface of the bed of the truck where the light bar is going to attach with at least 90% uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Now we're also going to go ahead and clean off the back of the plastic on the light bar with isopropyl alcohol. All right, now we're going to go ahead and apply some adhesive promoter. Now at this point, if we were going to be using the standoffs, we'd actually apply the adhesive promoter to the back of the standoff. Uh, but we're not going to be using the standoffs. We're going to apply the adhesive promoter to the back of the light bar itself. Um, now, do not use adhesive promoter on a painted surface. The 3M tape is designed to stick to the painted surface. Is when you go to plastic is when you use adhesive promoter. So what we're going to do is open up the bag. You can use gloves for this if you'd like. And we want to let that dry. Alright, now we're going to place the 3M tape on the back of the light bar. We're going to evenly space that to where we get good adhesion and make sure we place that light bar with a 3M tape on a spot where it's not going to have uh, a bad bond. Okay, now before we attach this light bar, this particular light bar, you want to make sure that the harness is coming out on the driver's side. I'm going to go ahead and release the, the tape protectant from the 3M tape. Now we're going to go ahead and hold it up very carefully. Make sure it's nice and centered. And stick it in place. Once we got it in place, we're going to bear down on the areas where we have the adhesive. Make sure we have a nice contact. Okay, now all we have to do at this point, we can actually just drop this down in between the bumper and the bed, uh, zip tie everything into place, run this cable uh, up through, and then plug it into your four pin. Uh, and then this just wires into your reverse light, uh, and that's all that really has to be done. We're going to make it a little bit cleaner install, so what we're going to do is we're first going to pop this out. If you reach underneath, there's a couple of pins you squeeze together. It's these pins right here. When you squeeze those together, the whole thing just comes right through. So we're going to bring this in like so. Uh, now we're going to cut back the insulation so we have better access to these wires, and I'll show you which wires go where. Okay, so we got all this harness. We're never going to need all of it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull uh, this through. 
all right and all this back behind we'll end up uh, tying that off later uh, what we're going to do is beyond the fuse we're going to use just a little bit of this wire here we're going to cut this and splice this in Okay, so here's our uh, trailer hitch wires, and here's our wires for our light bar. Uh, now, most of these are going to go exactly to the same colors they, they match up to, so brown to brown, yellow to yellow, uh, green will go to green, uh, but then our white wire, or our black wire will go to our white wire. And then this white wire here will actually go to the center pin, which is a gray wire. Okay, so now I've got my white wire from the harness coming down uh, into my splice connector that I've got the gray wire going through. I'm going to take and squeeze down on the connector. And that cuts into the wires and makes connection between both of them. I clip that together. All right, now we're going to go ahead and connect our green wires. And now I'm going to connect the brown. Next for the yellow. And lastly, I'm going to connect the black wire from the light bar harness to the white wire in the trailer pin harness. All right, now we're going to go ahead and tape up all of our connections. Okay, now that we've got this all taped up, before we insert everything back in place, we're going to go ahead and test the operation of the light bar. We're going to check the left turn signal, right turn signal, hazard lights, brakes, and reverse. So now we're going to go ahead and fit these wires back through. Anything back behind the bumper that's loose, we're going to go ahead and zip tie in place, make sure it's nice and secure, and then snap this back in place. Then we can go ahead and reattach the tailgate and rehook up the backup camera. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out.